Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Professor Williams and this time I'm here with Poisson distributions with Minitab 16. Going to look at some roller coasters. I hate roller coasters. I don't even ride roller coasters. So, doesn't surprise me that the number that the average number of people who get violently ill on Devil's Drop roller coaster is Poisson distributed with a mean of 5.6 people per day. On any given day, what's the probability that the following events occur? First, what's the probability that on a given day, drop, Devil's Drop makes no one vomit? Number two says, what's the probability that more than 15 people are violently ill after riding? And last but not least, what is the probability that over a three-day weekend, more than nine people are ill after riding the roller coaster? Let's take a look and see how the Poisson distribution in Minitab can help us solve this. All right, before we start Minitab, let's convert the Poisson events into equations that represent the values for what you're solving. The first one, what is the probability that on a given day, Devil's Drop makes no one vomit? It means our mean, or lambda, is going to be that 5.6 people per day. Remember, that's the long run average. And we're going to solve for the probability that x equals 0. What's the probability that more than 15 people are violently ill? Again, lambda remains fixed over the interval of one day, because we're only concerned about a one day period and we want to know the probability that x is greater than 15. Because we have no n or sample size in Poisson distributions, what we're actually solving for is the probability that from 16 to infinity people get violently ill after riding. And then last but not least, what's the probability that over a three day weekend more than nine people are ill after a riding? Well, we already know that a more than means from 10 up to infinity, but that three-day weekend requires that we adjust lambda. Lambda was given to us as 5.6 per day, except now we're going to look at a three-day weekend. So make sure to adjust your average or your lambda value by saying 5.6 times 3 giving you a new lambda of 16.8. In other words, in the long run, over three days, we would expect to see 16.8 people just get sick as a dog after riding this roller coaster. The mean of a Poisson distribution is always fixed over the interval. So if 5.6 per day for three days, the mean is then three times that. All right, I'm back over here with my friend Minitab, back to the calc uh, menu item. I'm going to drop down. I'm going to go to probability distributions, and this time I want Poisson distributions. You'll notice that it looks very much like the binomial and the hypergeometric in that we have the choice between probability, cumulative probability, inverse probability. Well, the first question said, what's the probability that, it, that no one gets sick? So I know that that's a probability radio button, because that probability radio button solves for a single value of x. The mean, or lambda, was given at 5.6 per day. And I want to know, what's the probability that nobody gets sick? So my input constant is 0. I'm going to click OK. What Minitab is going to tell me is that with a mean of 5.6, the probability that x equals 0, 0.0036979, or, point, or point zero zero 0.003. All right, let's take a look at the second question. Now we want to know what's the probability that more than 15 people are violently ill. So I'm going back up to Calc, Distributions, Poisson. I'm still dealing about a, with a single day, so my mean or lambda is still 5.6. But now I'm looking for a more than 15 people, which means I'm looking for a cumulative probability. Remember that Minitab solves for the probability from the value you put as an input constant down to 0. So if I want more than 15 people, that means I want from 16 to infinity. That means I want to eliminate from 0 to 15. 
because I know that all the probabilities will add up to 1. So I'm going to put input my constant of 15, say OK. What this gives me is this actually gives me that the probability that 15 or fewer get sick is 0.999756, except that what I want to do is I want to know the probability of more than 15. This probability right here is the probability that x is less than or equal to 15. So I know that this plus 16 looks terrible to infinity all of that has to equal you got it 1. So I'm going to use that inverse or that complement rule that we have in probability and I'm going to say 1 minus 0.999756 nothing like being extremely precise here um, wait a minute, work in the calculator gives me 0 0.00 oh, 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 two, four, four. So although on long run average 5.6 people throw up after reading after uh, riding this roller coaster, the probability that more than 15 people are ill pretty slim. So makes people sick but doesn't make everybody sick. All right, let's take a look at that last one where we had to adjust our value of lambda. All right, so this was our question. What's the probability that over a three-day weekend, more than nine people are ill? Remember we said that because lambda of 5.6 was the mean or long-run average over the interval, and the interval was one day, that now that I'm looking at three days, I have to increase lambda by multiplying it by three, gives me a new lambda value of 16.8. The other thing that's neat is that we're solving this one just like we did the last one, and that is that it's the probability of x is greater than nine. So what I'm looking for is that x equals 10 all the way to infinity and beyond, which means I'm going to let many tabs solve for me from 0 up to and including 9. And I'm simply going to take that and subtract it from 1. So let me let many tab do its thing here. Calc, probability distributions, Poisson, come up here. Remember, I've got to adjust lambda here now, don't I? I have to now put in lambda of 16.8. I said I wanted the probability more than 9, so I want to get rid of 9 down. So I'm going to say OK. And it tells me that the probability that x is equal to or less than 9 is 0 0.0289613. I know that the probability of less than or equal to 9 plus the probability of 10 or greater equals 1. So again, I'm going to use that inverse by saying 1 minus 0 0.028961.3 equals, I'm not sure, let me get out my calculator, 89613 equals, my Walmart calculator says it's 0 0.9710387. So, just remember two things about the Poisson distribution. One is that you, we are not, not given a value of n. Right? There's no n here. The other thing is that we adjust our lambda if we're solving for an interval other than what was given. And so now we have an actual new mean based on the long run average. And always remember that if you're solving for more than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, we're always going to use this subtract from 1. So I hope that you've enjoyed Poisson distributions as much as I have, and I will see you guys around the classroom.